Hey everyone, welcome to the Flippin' Hippos YouTube channel, The Flippin' Hippo, and today we're going to talk about five items every reseller should have. Yesterday we talked about the eight items every reseller needs just to even get started as a reseller, and I kind of... Uh, touched upon the fact that in the beginning you're just going to make do with what you have and focus all of your profits or your capital onto reinvesting into inventory and scaling up. And then eventually you can use your capital to purchase fancier um, supplies and tools of the trade as you um, get bigger and you're making more money. So the first thing today is a tape gun. So in the beginning, you don't even have to have a tape gun. We did not for a long time. We just pulled strips of tape off of the tape and cut them with scissors. And then eventually we invested in a tape. And then we invested in two. And I mentioned in yesterday's video, we keep one loaded with clear tape and one with eBay tape. So eventually you'll want a tape gun, but it's not necessary in the beginning. But it will save you time and it's less of a hassle eventually and when you can... Um, justify spending money on supplies in addition to your inventory. The second thing is a thermal printer. Um, in the beginning, it's perfectly, perfectly fine to be printing out from your paper printer and cutting those and taping them to the packages. But eventually you're gonna want a thermal printer. A thermal printer is going to save you tons of money. I remember when we used to uh, cut our paper labels and tape them on the packages. We were buying cartridges every two to three weeks. They're like 50 bucks every time. It starts to add up. The cost of the paper, the cost of the ink cartridges really does start to add up. And the thermal printer is going to save you a ton of money because it uses heat to print. You never ever have to buy ink or cartridges or replacements or anything. All you need is the rolls of paper that go with the thermal printer. And then it um, prints the images with heat. So there's like you invest one time in the printer and then you buy the rolls of the labels as you need them and that's it. Saves you so much time or saves you so much money but in addition it does save you tons of time because they're printing right out on things that you just peel and stick. Peel and stick. No more cutting and taping. So you do eventually definitely want to get into a thermal printer. There's a lot of options out there. We used a Dymo 450 for a long time, which printed smaller ones um, that had like squished barcodes that were really hard to scan at the post office. But we dealt with it probably for like a year or two. And then we upgraded to the Arc Scan, which is great. It prints the nice big labels and they scan right in and we use it for Poshmark, Macari, Bonanza when we do labels through Pirate Ship or if we buy labels off of um, PayPal. It works for everything. In fact, when we first got the ArcScan printer, I did do a video of an unboxing and setting it up and showing you guys how it works. I'll have that pop up at the end and you can watch it if you're interested. Um, the next thing is a mannequin. So. You know, you can work with flat lays or putting stuff on hangers. That's perfectly acceptable. Does it look better, more professional, more appealing on a mannequin? Yes, it does. Is it necessary? No. But eventually you might want to get one. Um, you don't need to spend a ton of money on a mannequin. You don't need a full body mannequin unless you're going to be selling a lot of dresses. If you're going to be selling a lot of dresses, full length coats or suits or anything like that, you might want to invest in a full length mannequin. If you're just going to be focusing on shirts and jackets and coats and things, um, you can get a mannequin like the ones behind me. You see how they're just a torso? Um, we have a male torso and we have a female torso. Um, and they're kind of inexpensive. And then when I do dresses, I do them on a hanger. So I still do stuff on a hanger as well. Like if it's too small to go on the mannequin or if it's long, I'll put it on a hanger. But I like to use the mannequins for the majority of what I photograph as far as tops. I still do flat lace always for jeans. Eventually, you're going to want to invest in photo lights. The ones behind me are what we use. They're about 60 bucks for both. Um, there's more expensive options out there, and there's cheaper options out there. There's ring lights. There's small box lights. It really just depends on what you're selling. If you're going to be doing a lot of photographs of clothing on mannequins or flat lays, these are great. But if you do a lot of smalls, if you do a lot of jewelry, coffee mugs, or whatever, they have boxes out there that you can buy that you just put the item in and photograph it inside the box with the lights. 
Um, so you just kind of need, need to figure out what do you sell and what would work best for you. And then, of course, you're eventually going to want to get a nice background. I recommend the white background. eBay recommends the white background. Poshmark, you can do anything you want, really. People get very artsy over there. If you look at some of the photos over there, people have um, fuzzy backgrounds and they put props in the photos. I don't recommend that for eBay, and I talked about that in yesterday's video why. Um, but for eBay and for professional reasons, I like the white background. I absolutely recommend it. It works really well with all the apps out there that um, wipe the background out, pull the item forward, and make it real nice and bright and professional looking. Um, additionally, it has been said that the white background works best with Google. So when your item eventually syncs up with Google from eBay, Poshmark, Macari, from wherever, the white background is going to get preferential treatment in the Google search algorithm. So the white background is recommended, um, but it's not necessary. If you really, really want a wooden background or a gray slate or a brick or whatever, just make sure it's not busy. You don't want a really busy background. You want something plain and solid so your items stand out against it. Um, you can get a black background just like ours for white items um, so they're not washed out against the white. Our setup is just a photo stand with a roll of paper on it. It is literally a roll of paper. And in fact, I will have that video linked down below for you. Um, I did a video of behind the scenes of how we do our photo shoots. And um, we'll actually I'll have it pop up for you. So at the end of this video, you'll see two videos pop up, the one on the thermal printer and the one of the photos behind the scenes where I show you exactly how we set this up with paper. Um, very inexpensive. A roll of paper is like 12 bucks. And we change it every couple of months and it lasts almost a year, sometimes longer than it. Okay, technically, Confession time. The roll of paper should be lasting you over a year. However, if you're a star and you're klutzy, <laughs> I've knocked our lights into the paper and torn it in half before. I dropped the mannequin on the paper and torn it in half. Um, I'm just really klutzy. So I tend to rip the paper. Most people aren't going to do that. <laughs> but yeah, it's our setup's really inexpensive. So watch that. If you haven't seen that video, I'll have it come up. Um, and before I let you go, let's just recap real quick. Five items every reseller should have eventually when you can justify reinvesting your capital into supplies in addition to your inventory. You want a tape gun, a thermal printer, mannequins, really good photo photography, professional lights, and a nice background. If you guys are wondering where to get this stuff, what do we use? Everything we use is down in the description box. If you go in there and you scroll down, I have every single thing I've talked about and shown you in today's video and yesterday's video. It's all in a nice little list and you can click the links and go see exactly what we use and get it for yourself if you'd like. These are affiliate links, so I do have to tell you that if you do use them, we do get a small commission, but it is a, no extra charge to you. So you guys just shop like normal, pay what you would normally pay, and then we get a small commission from um, Amazon or eBay, and it really helps support this channel and what we do here. So we do absolutely appreciate it if you guys would use our affiliate links. Um, and then that way you can kind of get an idea of exactly what we use. All right, guys, any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down in the comment section. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up before you leave. It really helps the channel. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. Help us feed a hungry hippo. You can find us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. or at Flippin' Hippos on all social media. And don't forget to join our Facebook group, Flippin' Hippos Reseller Pod. There's a link to join down below. It's free to join. Until next time, go be productive. Go make some money. And as always, thank you so, so much for watching. You guys are the best. Bye.